Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are four friends. They uh, play a game of dice and they started with the numbers 2, 6, 5, 3 and this is called round 0. Okay. Now after this they play four rounds. So total five rounds including that zero round. Okay. And in each round the person who gets the highest number in the previous round gets to throw first. The person who gets the second highest gets to throw second and so on. So order is descending order of previous throw. Okay, so the one who is legs, for example, in the first round, B will throw first, C will throw second, D will throw third, and A will throw fourth. Okay, now it is given that in every round, the outcomes of all four friends were distinct, and including round zero, each person got all distinct numbers in all five rounds. And some more information is given to us. So basically, it means that there are five rounds. So it says that outcomes of all four friends were distinct. So all these four values will be different in every round. And the second thing it says that including round zero, each person got distinct number in all five rounds. So these numbers are also different. Okay. And some more conditions are given to us. Based on it, we have to solve this set. Right. So let us formulate this table, uh, keeping in mind that these values are distinct. Now it says the total of all outcomes for both B and C were prime numbers and B's total was more than that of C. Okay. Now how do we find these totals is, see there are six numbers on a dice and each round they are throwing different numbers. All five numbers are coming as different. So if we add one, two, three, four, five, six, right, if we add this total, we get a total of 21. Okay. And they are throwing 5 out of these numbers. So suppose a person does not throw 1. So that person will get a total of 20. Suppose a person does not to throw 2. So person will get a total of 19. If a person does not throw 3, 4, 5 or 6. So these are the possible totals a person can get. Because they are throwing 5 out of these 6 numbers. One number is missing. Now out of these there are 2 prime numbers. 19 and 17. So B's total is 19 and C is 17. It says that B's total was more than that of C. So B gets a total of 19 and C gets a total of 17. B will not throw any 2, C will not throw any 4. Okay, so this has been used. D's total was the lowest among all. So D's total can be 15 or 16 because 17 is already of C. The total of all four friends was distinct. Okay, so total of these people are distinct. So A could have a total of 18 or 20. Okay, so we'll get it later. Now it says B and C got the respective lowest outcomes in consecutive rounds, but neither of them was in the last round. So they will get one in two consecutive rounds, right? So out of these three rounds, but not this round. C did not get his lowest outcome in the round in which A got his second highest outcome. D got his minimum outcome in the round in which C got his maximum outcome. Okay, so uh, we will see these conditions later. The round in which A was the first person to throw dice, he got his highest outcome. Now, this is a very important point to understand. Okay, when do you throw the dice first? When you, got the, when you get the highest score, okay? Now, like next round will be uh, will be impacted your highest by your highest score. So suppose B is scoring six, he will be throwing first in this round. But it says that A threw first in in the same uh, throw. He got his highest outcome also. Okay, so how is it possible that he is getting to throw a dice and he is getting highest outcome in that? case and also if you read these two informations it says the sum of outcomes of all four players in each of the four rounds is a distinct value 
it talks about rounds 1 to 4 okay so these are distinct values and another information is for every person the order of throws is distinct across the rounds now order of throws is distinct means that this is the order he will so let's write the order also so first person to throw second person to throw third person to throw and fourth person to throw so basically these values will form a sudoku like structure 4 into 4 so in every round there will be some person who will throw first second third fourth that will be only in that particular round okay now the thing that is given to us is that uh, a is th the round in which a was the first person to throw he got his highest outcome so this means that if he gets his highest outcome in the next round also he will be the first one okay now a cannot miss five or six a cannot miss uh, these values because a got his uh, like so if a is getting the highest outcome in this round so next round also you should be first but that is not possible to have first in two rounds so this directly means that ki a highest outcome in fourth round because after fourth round there is no round okay so a got the highest outcome in this a must have got six here and a was the first person in this round okay so a got six in this round highest in this okay now uh, then one more thing is a through after b in the second round so a through after b in the second round it means that uh, a got a b got a higher score than a in the first round so that is why a will throw after b okay a and d were the last persons to throw dice in two consecutive rounds now this is uh, can be directly filled a was the last person here so d will be the last person here okay now d is the last person here so d has to be the first person also in one of the rounds so this round d will be the first person and in this round d will be the second person because here a is the first person to throw the dice okay and then we have uh, to fill the values also and also we need to fill key uh, this this condition that c got his maximum so d got his minimum outcome in the round in which c got his maximum okay now see this thing carefully that d is getting uh, the fourth position here so d must have got the minimum here okay otherwise if a person is not throwing d cannot throw five or six one of these should be missing okay so d will throw five or six in this round that is why d can come first here and d will throw one in this round then only it can be fourth because if d throws uh, higher than uh, if he d does throws one then only d can become fourth in this round okay so d must have thrown one in this round okay and now we are left with uh, we have two values left one two and four are left okay now, if D throws 2, D cannot become second. Because as any osakta ki like kisi uh, second is se niche do logo aro ne chai, right? So this means D will throw 4 here and 2 here. Because D is second here, D cannot be 2 here. So these are the uh, these are the outcomes of D. Now it says that D got his minimum when C got his maximum. So C's maximum is 6. Okay. Now this means that C is first in this round because six again okay so uh, then first first and then we have to fill third and fourth and uh, b through a higher number so b will be the second person and a will be the third person so this means a will be the second here okay and uh, now we have to fill two three and four okay they can be in any order now the next thing that is given to us is that uh, C did not throw his lowest outcome uh, in the round in which A got his second highest outcome. Now A is getting his second highest outcome and as a result A is C. A is getting his second highest and here A is becoming the first thrower. So this means A must have got 5 in this round. Okay, A, A has to be the first one. 
because D has scored four here. A should score more than four. That is five. And this is A's second highest outcome. Okay, so C cannot get one here. Okay, and C cannot get one here. It is given that B and C got their respective lowest in consecutive rounds, but neither in the last round. So this means C gets a one here, and C and D. This statement we will use lowest outcomes in consecutive rounds. So he is getting one here. Now B cannot get one here because otherwise B cannot be second. So B will get a one here. Okay. So this we have got these two people getting their lowest scores. Now we can find the order also using this. So if he is getting one, he should be fourth here, and this will be third person. One, two, three, fourth person, and this is the third person to throw the dice. Okay. So we have got the order. Now let us put the numbers also. So uh, six, one, and we have to have uh, two and three are missing. Okay. And uh, here we cannot have two because two is already filled here. So we will have three and two here. Okay. So this is done. Now for B, in this case, A will get a higher score because if you put uh, uh, this value, then it, then only A will throw before B in this lot. Okay. Now for uh, B, the value missing um, that are missing are three, four, and five. Okay, so uh, it cannot get it cannot get five here because A has to throw higher. B cannot get four here because like A has already thrown five and six, so B will get a three here. Okay, and as a result, A will get a four here. Okay, now four and five are left, so one of these will be four and another will be five. Right now, in this round, A cannot throw one, so A has to skip one of the values. Right, so out of this, A has thrown four, five, six, and two, one, and three are remaining. A cannot throw one because already D has thrown one, so A will throw three in this round. Okay, so A's total will come out as 20. Now we have to find these three values and let's find out that if we can uniquely find the values. The next condition that is, is that these, these totals should be distinct. Okay. So let us add these. Uh, this can be directly added. This is 12 as the total. This is 11 plus 4 or 5. That is 15 or 16 is the total. Okay. See, we are not at all concerned about this total because this additional information is about only 1 to 4 that these should be distinct. Okay, so anyway, we can find the total it is 16. So one of those rounds can have 16. These four are distinct. Okay, not comparing with this. Now, uh, this total is either uh, this is 10, 14 or 15. And this total is 13 or 14. Right. Now, this is 4 and 5 that is known to us. Like if we have 4 here, it will be 5 here. So if we take the lower number, okay, it should be the higher number here, then it becomes 15 and 15, right? If we put 4 here and 5 here, both will become 15, which is not possible. So this means we should have a 5 here and a 4 here. So this makes some 14 and this becomes 16, okay? Now we cannot have a total of 14 in this round. So we will have a total of 13 and hence D scored 5 in this round. Okay, so this is how we will solve it and get the four values of uh, each of these rounds. So now we can answer the questions. What was the total score of D? So D had a total score of, D did not throw six, D had a total score of 15. Who was the first person to throw the dice in round three? So in round three, the first person was D. Okay, so D uh, was the topper in round two and he was the first person in. Which round had the same total as round zero? So round zero had 16 and round four also had a total of 16. What number did B throw in round two? So in round two, B threw the number three. 
So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.